welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral integral from 1 over square root of t to infinity arc sine of 2x over 1 plus x square times dx over 1 plus x square okay in this video i am going to evaluate this integral uh, by using two different ways uh, so first method first we know uh, two times arc tan of x is equal to arc sine of 2x over 1 plus x square for uh, x in between minus 1 to 1 and also we know um, 2 times arc tan of x is equal to pi minus uh, arc sine of 2x over 1 plus x square for x greater than to 1 okay then uh, here we know now uh, x lower than to 1 uh, we have 2 times arc tan of x and uh, x greater than to 1 we have uh, 2 times arc tan of x is equal to pi minus arc sine of 2x over 1 plus x square therefore I am going to split the uh, limit so I am going to take this is equal to i and we can write i is equal to 1 over square root of 3 to 1 uh, now we know when x lower than to 1 arc sine of 2x over 1 plus x square is equal to 2 times arc tan of x so we can write 2 times arc tan of x here dx over 1 plus x square so 1 plus x square times dx and then uh, we can write here 1 over square root 3 to 1 now 1 to infinity so now 1 to infinity uh, now 1 to infinity arc sine of 2x over 1 plus x square we know uh, x greater than to 1 so we can write pi minus pi minus arc tan of x over here 1 plus x square dx okay then uh, we can integrate so here we know uh, and derivative of uh, arc tan of x uh, we can uh, write this is equal to uh, arc tan of x square uh, if we differentiate 2 times arc tan of x over 1 plus x square so this is the uh, integration of 2 times arc tan of x over 1 plus x square but we know here 1 over square root of 3 to 1 uh, plus here uh, uh, this is also we can integrate pi over 1 plus x square so we know pi times 1 plus x square 1 over 1 plus x square arc tan of x so arc tan of x minus here arc tan of x over 1 plus x square uh, so uh, we can write uh, arc tan sorry here uh, 2 times so here same integral so we know arc tan of x square uh, but here we know limit 1 to infinity okay now uh, we can plug in, uh, the limits so we can write here if we plug in 1 arc tan of 1 we know pi over 4 so phi over 4 square minus here uh, if we plug in 1 over square root of 3 we know pi over 6 so pi over 6 square uh, plus here uh, we know pi arc tan of infinity we know pi over 2 minus arc tan of infinity pi over 2 so pi over 2 uh, square then we can plug in 1 so arc tan of 1 we know pi over 4 so minus pi times pi over 4 minus minus plus if we plug in 1 here we know pi over 4 square okay now we can simplify this so here pi square over 16 
phi square over 36 plus phi square over 2 minus phi square over 4 minus uh, sorry here phi square over 2 phi square over 16 again phi square over sorry uh, I'm going to recheck here phi square over 16 then phi square over 36 then phi square over 2 then phi square over 4 then again phi square over 4 then plus phi square over 16 okay now we can simplify uh, here uh, 32 and uh, 3 4 so 7 times phi square okay this is the answer for this question so in this method uh, we didn't use the uh, substitution u substitution okay now uh, i'm going to uh, evaluate this integral uh, by using u substitution so now uh, we are going to solve uh, this integral by using u substitution uh, so we know our integral sorry um, 1 over square root of 3 to uh, infinity arc sine of 2x over 1 plus x square times dx over 1 plus x square okay now uh, I'm going to use a uh, u substitution so if we take u is equal to 1 over x then uh, we can differentiate so du is equal to minus 1 over x square dx so dx is equal to minus du over u square also we should check the limit lower limit and upper limit so we can write when x approaches to 1 over square root of 3 we know this is square root of 3 to 0 arc sine of arc sine of now 2 times x x we know 1 over u so 2 over u over 1 plus 1 over u square and here dx we know minus du over uh, u square 1 plus x square we know 1 over u square okay then mm, we can simplify now we can change the lower limit and upper limit 0 to square root of 3 when we change the limit this minus sign get cancelled and now we will have arc sine of now uh, here u square here 2 over u so we know 2 times u over 1 plus u square times du over here u square get cancelled and here also 1 plus u square okay then uh, I am going to take uh, another substitution so we can take um, u is equal to tan of theta u is equal to tan of theta now differentiate du is equal to secant square of theta d theta also we should change the limit upper boundary and lower boundary so here we know when u approaches to zero uh, theta also approaches to zero and u approaches to square root of three uh, we know theta approaches to pi over 3 and here arc sine of arc sine of 2 times tan of theta over 1 plus tan square of theta and here du we know secant square of theta d theta over 1 plus tan square of theta now we know 1 plus tan square of theta is equal to secant square of theta so secant square of theta get cancelled and now here we have integral from 0 to pi over 3 arc sine of here we know this is a double angle formula of sine of 2 theta so here sine of 2 theta d theta 
okay then uh, I'm going to take another substitution so if we take um, 2 times theta is equal to y then 2 times d theta is equal to dy now again uh, we should change the lower limit and upper limit so here now we know uh, 0 to 2 pi over 3 uh, arc sine of sine of y now d theta is equal to uh, dy over 2 so dy 1 over 2 I'm going to write outside of the uh, integral sign then um, here 0 to 2 pi over 3 now we should uh, careful with the limit now we can split the limit so we can write because here arc sign so now 1 half 0 to pi over 2 0 to pi over 2 uh, arc sine of arc sine of sine of y dy arc sine of sine of y dy uh, plus now here 0 to pi over 2 now here pi over 2 to 2 pi over 3 now arc sine of sine of y dy okay now we know uh, sorry now we know uh, here this is equal to 1 half 0 to pi over 2 0 to pi over 2 arc sine of sine we know arc sine and sine get cancelled so we have 0 to pi over 2 y dy plus 1 half but in this limit pi over 2 to 2 pi over 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi over 3 arc sine of sine we know pi minus pi minus y so here yeah, pi minus y dy okay now we can integrate so here one half we know uh, y so y square over 2 limit 0 to pi over 2 uh, here uh, we should integrate pi minus y so here minus sign so here we know minus uh, pi minus y square over 2 limit pi over 2 to 2 pi over 3 okay now uh, we can simplify uh, we can plug in uh, upper limit and lower limit so if we simplify this we will have the same answer uh, as 7 times y square over 72 okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching